Welcome back to Consider This. I'm Shura with me, Dishan Kumar. Our guests are Professor Lekra Rampal and Dr. Murli Thiren. They're both experts in the question of regulating tobacco use. We're talking about vaping, though, today. And Dishan, you had a question. Yes. So, Dr. Murli, now we have these reports of children vaping in schools and things like that. So, talking about that event, children vaping in schools, who do we actually look at to blame or what is the whole situation about that? Okay. So, very interestingly, uh, if you follow all these um, Facebook pages and you know social media, the vape industry has been very quick to blame that, oh look, there's nothing to do with us. The parents are one all to blame, teachers are to blame, every, the garden, school gardeners to blame, you know, everyone's to blame except the industry. Mm -hmm. But um, we all know for a fact that you know, th they are equal contributory parts. You know, what we are seeing is we run huge smoking cessation programs in schools and what we are seeing is we can see that a lot of children who have never smoked in their lives, despite their parents smoking uh, or there, be, there being smokers in their house, they've now started vaping. So it's, it's rather than us basically blaming this as a parental issue, sure, there's some amount of responsibility, family values that need to be absorbed into uh, you know, uh, the current mindset of these children, sure. We, we're not denying that. But at the same time, there's a lot of questions of availability mm. and the fact that, you know, it's so easily available. People are, there's so much of peer pressure. It's uh, to use a horrible it's term, a trendy it's very thing. sexy. Yeah. yeah, and I want to ask you about that because one of the things it seems like, you know, since I was a young person, uh, you know, the, we've had campaigns raising awareness about tobacco use and its links to cancer and so on and so forth. And yet people persist in it. Is it about pleasure? Is it, I mean, is one of the problems of the campaign is they can't deal with the fact that fi people find it pleasurable. Young people maybe feel that they become adults by smoking. Yeah. That's another issue. Yeah, that's another issue. Yeah. How do you deal okay. with that? Basically, very often you see the activities done by the government is not having any effect. Most of them try to say that. 20 years ago, people smoked in the hospital, smoked in the schools. Your teacher used to smoke in the classroom. Do you see it today? This is the impact of this type of activities. Education, regulation, also uh, ministry action. So you will expect the change to take place. Don't expect immediately. You have five million smokers in Malaysia, right? Another thing which we are all missing, we like to play a blame game. We want to say teachers at fault, parents at fault. Actually, peer influence today is very big compared to 30 years ago. Parents used to have influence. Now, no, because both parents may be working. Who is taking care of the child? Maid. Parents give money. You don't have enough money, they work together outside, by the way. So value system must be inculcated first in the family, society. The society value will form culture, behavior. The whole behavior until you change, you can educate the fellow, he listen to his friends and he smoke. Why? Because at the point of entry, when he starts smoking or vaping, he does not realize how addictive is nicotine is and other drugs. And that's, that's perhaps that is one, a of problem. The, one of the most important things that, that needs to be done. Mm. When we, we talk about either very tightly regulating or even banning it outright, what we're talking about is denormalizing behavior. Mm. So why don't we smoke um, weed in the streets? It's just not normal. Mm. Someone sees it, someone will call the cops. Yeah. Similarly, all these actions that we're talking about is about denormalizing the behavior so that people don't see it as being uh, something fun to do or something, you know, uh, pleasurable or something. Yeah, but that's the thing because that yeah. comes from the influence on the media, entertainment. Last time in movies, actors used to smoke. It used to be a very, very cool thing to do. And you don't really see that now happening. Exactly. exactly. Social behavior. Use of social media mm. to educate the public. Thank Astro Awani for taking the lead. But there is a need for all social medias to educate the public on the risk of this. Yep. They're not aware. Right? So social media like this is very important. It has a very important role to solve this problem. 
Okay, in the last minute that we have, uh, Dr. Morley, what's your advice to individuals who vape? What would you be saying to them they must think about before they take the next puff? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing, if you have started vaping because you've thought that, you know, it's going to be helpful for you to quit smoking, uh -uh, it's, it doesn't, it, the evidence doesn't show that it's helpful at all. Second, by thinking that you're vaping, you're just indulging in a lesser harm, we're finding out that it's actually not le that lesser, that much lesser uh, harm or, 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 or that not of, yeah, it's all these double negatives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not harmful. Yeah, it's yeah. as harmful if not worse. Mm. So really, perhaps chewing gum is the best way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. yeah. so if that is your choice, if mm -hmm. that's why you've started vaping, please don't. Just, just stop. It's, and it's there are other alternatives. Yeah, well. there's so many it's other alternatives. Okay, thank you, gentlemen, thank you so much, much so for much. helping us understand this really complex phenomena, yeah. uh, perhaps with a very simple solution, uh, but that's, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, something that the politicians <laughs> will have to uh, yeah. decide on. <laughs> thank you again. Um, thank you. I've been speaking to, or rather we've been speaking yes. to, Professor Dr. Uh, Dr. Lekraj Rampa and also Dr. M. Murli Tharan, both here uh, talking about the question of vaping should be banned or not. Uh, that's all we have for Consider This. I'm Sharad Kutin with me, Dishan Kumar, only on Astro One. Goodbye.